This is Retirement News Online. I'm Scott Drake. When it comes to retirement income planning, one way to maximize income in retirement is to reduce the amount of taxes you're going to pay. Here to talk about some of these strategies is my guest, Ray Stein with APO Financial in Colorado. Uh, Ray, welcome back. Let's begin by talking about how the various retirement plans are taxed. Absolutely. Hi, Scott. Great to be back. Um, taxes is, is a huge or going to be a huge issue in retirement. Actually, it's the uh, number one surprise of those in retirement five years or more. We would have thought it would have been health care, but taxes is a surprise. So there are three types of taxable income. There is taxable, uh, meaning those outside of retirement accounts. The money that's in retirement accounts, IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, TSAs, you name it, the whole alphabet soup, that is what we call tax deferred or qualified money, meaning that it's taxed when or as you pull it out in that year. There is also a third category which is tax free. Uh, you may be familiar with Rothing or there are actually other vehicles as well to get some tax free income later on in retirement. So Ray, how do you know if a Roth conversion is the best way to go? We're big fans of Roth conversion as long as it makes sense in your plan and it's not right for everyone. Uh, general rule of thumb, we look at a couple and we look at the tax code every year. Uh, we know that can change any time, especially in this crazy political environment. But under current tax code, a general rule of thumb is that as a couple, if you have about a half million dollars in your retirement money by age 70 and a half, when your required minimum distributions come out, is kind of a target. So if you are going to end up having more than that, you want to look at becoming more tax efficient today, switching from tax deferred income to either taxable or tax free. And that's where the Roth comes into play. Depends on how many years you have until those RMDs, your income years, do you have some high income years, or are you stepping out of work where we can do some more conversions over those time, over that time. Also looking at Medicare, making sure your premiums don't go up because they can if your income increases with Roth conversions and Social Security tax. So you really have to put a full plan together, which we do for everyone, to show them uh, what taxes could look like in their future. Ray, finally, for those who are already in retirement, are there any strategies they need to be aware of on how to reduce taxes? If you're in retirement today, the biggest uh, issue you want to look at, again, is having too much money in tax-deferred income. Again, that retirement, IRAs, 401ks, TS, uh, TSAs, whatever that may be, because once you hit 70 and a half, required minimum distribution starts. So you can't keep your money in retirement accounts for the rest of your life. The IRS wants to get paid. So at 70 and a half, you have to start pulling out 3.65%. That goes up for the rest of your life over a 27.4 year period. Now, there are lots of legislation out there, which is scary, looking to shrink that to a 10 or five year period. So that's why we are focused on the taxes before you hit 70 and a half, because if you have to start pulling out 10, five to 10% of your income, that could shoot you into a higher tax bracket. So not maximizing your tax deferred money if you're over uh, our general rule of thumb is something that we look at very seriously each year until retirement or in retirement as well. Great, Ray, thanks again. Thank you, Scott, great to be here. That was Ray Stein with APO Financial in Colorado, and this is Retirement News Online, thanks for watching.